In this session, we'll find the percentile given the data set. We'll use the formula L is equal to K divided by 100 times N. And in this formula, L is a locator that gives the position of a value. N is the number of values. Or K is the percentile used in the formula. And P sub K is the Kth percentile. For example, P sub 56 is the 56th percentile. Let's look at the steps. The first thing we'll do is sort the data. The data should be assorted in ascending order from high to low. We'll then compute L, which is the locator position. If we compute L and if L is a decimal, we'll round that decimal to the next integer and the value of the percentile is the value at L. If L is a whole number, the value of the percentile is the average of the value at L and the value after L. So in other words, we'll take the value at L and the very next value after L. We'll add those and divide by 2 and that will give us the percentile. So let's take a look at an example. We see the data below for airport, Verizon, cell phone, data speeds, and we're asked to find the 56th percentile. We'll compute L by using the formula. Notice that in the formula, L is the location value, K is the percentile, so in our example, K would be 56, and N would be the number of data points we can see that there are 40 observations so n would equal to 40. Once we simplify we see that L is 22.4. Next we'll evaluate L. Since L is a decimal we round up to the next integer which will be 23. Next we'll find the percentile. The percentile will be the value of the 23rd data point. The value of the 23rd data point is 13.1 and that serves as the 56th percentile. Here we'll take a look at another example. Same data set, but in this example we're asked to find the 20th percentile. So once again we'll compute L. The only difference in the formula here, K would equal to 20. N is still equal to 40 we still have 40 points in the data set and once we simplify we have L is 8. Next we'll evaluate L. Since L is a whole number we must average the number at position L and after position L and that will give us our percentile. So now we'll find the percentile we'll locate the two numbers that are in the 8th and 9th position which are 4.5 and 6.5 we'll average those two together and we have the 20th percentile is 